Hey, mother brew me a stout. What kind? Oatmeal. Is that it? Coffee. Okay. Potty time, potty time, potty time brews. Gotta brew a big old stout for a dude from the crew. Potty time, potty time, potty time brews. Switch a coffee for a beer drink in the morning and snooze. And we're starting out with water. Truly amazing. For this one, I really didn't think too much and went to the Brew Father app to grab a stouty profile as seen here. I added 4 grams of calcium chloride, 2 grams of Epsom salt, and 5 grams of gypsum to the mash. For the malt bill, we're starting out with a chocolate malt. This will add a roasty flavor, bitterness, and a hint of chocolatey goodness to the stout. The next is roasted barley. This is where we get to add some of that coffee goodness to it and it really adds towards the dark color of the stout. I added a bit of Crystal 60 for some caramel sweetness, and I think I used a little over a pound of flaked oats. I forgot to write it down on the recipe card, so I kind of forgot, but I don't think it was much more than a pound. And finally for the base, Maris Auto was used in order to add a bit more malty flavor and hopefully a tad bit of nuttiness. I had planned on adding biscuit malt to give it more depth, but the local store didn't have any, and I forgot to set some malt aside to bake in the oven for a bit. Apparently you can do that to make some biscuit malt. Check out the video description for the full recipe. And here's the dough in. It's a lot easier if you can get yourself a Dana to help out. At first I thought the water amounts were a bit low because the mash ended up fairly thick, but it ended up turning out not so bad, and the recirculation worked well. I did the full 60 minute mash and then had to prepare for a game. What do you think of this beer? It's not bad. It's a little stale. It's only about six months old. It'll do. Thirsty? So thirsty. And so you have it. The two titans face off in what is sure to be a riveting match for the ages. Here it is. No! A near miss for James. Let's see if Dana can come back from what is shaping up to be an almost certain loss. As the game goes on, James is obviously holding back on his skills in order not to humiliate the obviously inferior competitor. James is much better and has the home team adva- Shit. Ah oh well, maybe he can down beer like a champ. Okay, maybe he can down beer really slowly. Like it's his first. Anyway, back to brewing. And exercising his muscles, here comes up the basket. In this one, the water went through very smoothly, and it didn't take too long to sparge, unlike most of mine. Look how steady this pre-boil wort is. Delicious. Now I prepped my hops and was ready for the addition. I used a hop spider to... I planned on using a hop spider to minimize the vegetal matter in the stout. After an hour in the boil, it was time to chill it down and add it to the fermenter. At this time, we added the cold brewed coffee. Cold brewed coffee was chosen because it is said to be a bit less bitter and more smooth with a slighter sweeter taste. The counterflow chiller brought it down to about 20 degrees. And I sprinkled in some English Ale US04 in there. And once I was done off camera, I gave it a little shake just to aerate it a bit for the health of the yeast. Here's another fun feature on the brew father if you have a tilt type hydrometer. I use my ice spindle and it links with the app to show you a full fermentation profile. As you can see here, I fermented it on the very low end of the recommended temp for the English ale yeast. The blue line shows the temperature and it fermented at an average of somewhere around 11.5 degrees. The English ale recommended temp is between 15 to 20 with a range of 12 to 25 degrees, so I was just under the minimum for most of the fermentation. This was left in my garage with no temp control until cold crashing, which was only done for the carbon and not clarity. As you can see on the red line, the fermentation was mostly done within a week, but it took another week to settle out somewhere on the chart at around 10.14. Okay, we finally made it to the beer review. Here is the coffee oatmeal stout, and I will give it a taste test first, followed by my friend Dana, who has well over a thousand untapped reviews, or at least beers checked in. And that's the most important thing you can have as a beer drinker, reviews. It smells like coffee. The head is there on this one. As you'll see on that one, we pour it a little more gently, so it's not as foamy. It's not quite cascading off the side, but it is, uh, it has, I poured it about five minutes ago and it's still kicking around there. Let's go in. Stouty. That's, uh, it's a stout all right. That's uh, about all I got. There's some coffee there for sure. Mm-hmm. Nice roast. No idea if the cold brew coffee is going through because I haven't tried it without the cold brew coffee. 
and I think it would taste coffee y anyway. What's your opinion? It's a tasty beer. Roasty, coffee. Pretty much what I was looking for. Coffee, roasty, beer. But, cheers. Gonna have to slow mo this pathetic attempt at a beer chug in order to get to the part of the video where I tell you all the crap I forgot to mention in the review. First off, the beer was great and I would brew it again. Of note, it says in the brew father that this bad boy is about 60 calories per 100 milliliters, which means each pint will put you back about 300 calories. The beer started at 1064 OG and finished at 1016 for a 6.3% alcohol.